Okay, I'm gonna walk through steps 51 through 60 of Free Code Camp's new responsive web design second project, learn basic CSS by building a cafe menu. Okay, so what we're gonna first do is add a couple of class elements to our paragraph. So dessert, so this is very similar to what we just did, and this is gonna be price. And it's just the same as what we did here, except instead of flavor, it says dessert. Okay, so for the next step, um, we don't have any CSS for the, the uh, dessert class, but we want it to look just the same as flavor, so we're just gonna add a comma and then dessert. We added that extra dessert class just in case we want desserts to look a little bit differently from the flavors of coffee. But for now, we want them to look exactly the same, so we'll just add them right here with the comma separating. Okay, so next we're gonna add three more of these article classes for three more items. So one, two, three, just copied and pasted right there. I'm just gonna change what's inside. So cherry pie, and that costs $2.75. So, oops. And then we want cheesecake. And it costs $3. And last item, cinnamon roll. $2.50 and we're ready for the next step. Okay, so as you might be able to tell, this kind of looks bad and one of the reasons, um, a big reason is this text is really close to this border right here and it just doesn't look good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add something called padding. So we want it on the left, we're gonna do it by 20 pixels and we want it on the right, 20 pixels. And there we go, it looks a lot better. All right, so the top and bottom could use some work, so we're just gonna add them to the top and bottom. So by using logic, we can just do padding top, 20 pixels, and padding bottom, 20 pixels. Just because we knew left and right work, so top and bottom probably also work. And it does, cool. So something that's kind of nice is we don't even have to just say padding left, padding right, padding top, padding up padding bottom if they're all the same. If we're gonna do them all the same, we can just use this one padding and 20. So it's gonna automatically know, oh, we're gonna do it to the top, left, um, right, and also the bottom. And so we can just use this instead. And it, it look exactly the same, same effect, which is really nice. Okay, so next we wanna add in max width. Um, I don't have a super wide monitor, but even if we just uh, stretch it out like this, I mean, if you just pull up on a computer, this is mostly what the page is gonna look like. And it looks kind of funny, just the spacing is, is really, really, really wide. So we can just add this, um, we'll add a max width element. So max width, and we're gonna do 500 pixels. Just because um, for those wider screens, now it doesn't look too bad. It's just a big background in the back. And it still looks good on mobile too. So that's because we set a max width, it, it, uh, it doesn't change what the smallest width it can be is. So next, um, we're just gonna add a font family so this, we're just gonna change the font, everything inside of the, the body. So font, family, um, sans, sans serif, or sans serif. And um, just depending on what browser you're using and what your default settings, it could change a little bit. So it might look like Times New Roman, and then once you add this sans serif, it looks more like Helvetica or something. Uh, my default font was already without serif, so uh, sans serif. And so it looks pretty much the same, but we'll show you how to use um, a different font uh, soon enough. So right here, we're gonna do something to the H1 and comma H2. Both, so both of those are gonna affect both and we're gonna add a different font for them. And then we're gonna, use, it's called impact. There we go. So these headings look a little bit different. So an issue that could happen is, let's say the font isn't able to load on someone's computer or they don't have it installed, whatever it is, we still want them to be able to the, see it the font to be a little bit different. So we're gonna set it to serif. So because I can load it, we're not gonna see it. But let's say someone isn't able to load impact on their computer, it's gonna look like that. Um, there we go. 